Mamta Banerjee and uh, Arvind Kejriwal have so many things in common. You could uh, call them political twins. Both are stormy petrels of opposition politics. Both are three-term chief ministers. Both have inflicted repeated body blows on the BJP in campaigns that were aggressively led by the invincible Modi Shah duo. In that sense, both now fancy their chances of emerging as the principal challenger to Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2024. Not, not in absolute electoral numbers, but as the first among equals in a united opposition cohort. There is, however, one critical difference between them. Mamta Banerjee leads an ethnically cohesive Bengali-speaking regional party while Arvind Kejriwal is the supreme leader of an ethnically diverse Hindi-English-speaking state party. This difference, regional versus state, is crucial, crucial for their ambitions. I shall address this dichotomy after a small detour of history. The first one and a half uh, decades after independence were dominated by the Indian National Congress under Nehru's uh, towering leadership. His uh, democratic DNA and, uh, and self-confidence uh, that allowed regional Congress heavyweights to keep disparate states under the party's uh, sway. Uh, from K. Kamaraj in Tamil Nadu to Pratap Singh Kero in Punjab to Biju Patnaik in Odisha to Morarji Desai in Mumbai to Govind Ballabh Pant and uh, Sucheta Kriplani in UP to Mohanlal Sukhadia in Rajasthan. Uh, I just name a few of them, but under them, uh, the Congress enjoyed an unassailable reign. In some ways, uh, this, was, uh, this was disguised regional politics, a predictor, predictor of the fractious polity of today, since each state was dominated by a political titan, albeit one from the Congress party, which made the Indian National Congress an umbrella, an umbrella of regional identities. But ironically, while Nehru kept regionalization in check, he also sowed the primary seed that would be in full bloom a few decades after his death, namely the reorganization of Indian states along linguistic lines in 1956. Now, while that was inevitably required to build a robust uh, federal structure, this reorganization also unleashed ethno-linguistic aspirations that simply had to create an electoral upheaval. After Nehru's death in 1964, regional politics got unbridled in the 1967 elections. The Congress lost in eight states and won the Lok Sabha with a wafer-thin majority, just 54% of the seats. The Congress party's virtual debacle ignited a power struggle between the conservative old guard and Indira Gandhi's left-leaning Young Turks. Ultimately, the party split and Gandhi went on to, to the hustings in a highly populist, highly welfareist New Deal. She was carrying her father Jawaharlal Nehru's halo. Her promise of Garibi Hatao, remove poverty, swept uh, the Indian National Congress, Indira, to its earlier legislative dominance. But underneath the impressive numbers was, was a saga of chronic, inevitable political weakening. Unlike Nehru, Indira Gandhi was a polarizing, centralizing politician who was uncomfortable with regional chieftains. She wanted to be the sole fountainhead of power and her, her intimidating personality mesmerized the electorate and her opponents for several years. But her take no prisoners, take no prisoners style of politics ended in the brutal emergency of 1975. 18 months later, she was whipped in the 1977 elections that brought the Janata Party, which was a hasty coalition of several opposition outfits, to an impressive majority in parliament. But once again, an accident of history created a, created a veneer of stability over a political process that was fractioning underneath at an accelerating pace. Because while it seemed that another national party had gotten created in the emergency cauldron, 
the janata party was an unsustainable unsustainable ragtag of ideologically inimical regional and splinter groups it had to collapse and that allowed indira gandhi another gigantic victory uh, in 1980 creating yet another illusion yet another illusion of the congress party regaining its earlier might however just when the congress was weakening again witness its uh, spectacular loss to nt rama rao's telugu desam in 1983 in its bastion of andhra pradesh indira gandhi was tragically assassinated a few months before the tough uh, general elections of uh, 1985 her son rajiv gandhi became interim prime minister and then rode a massive sympathy wave to the biggest ever majority in indian parliament winning nearly four of every five seats this time even the saviest uh, political expert thought the congress had clawed back to nehruvian heights ironically it was to be the final flicker of an ebbing flame uh, the metastasis continued to spread through a hopelessly ill congress party a mere 5 years later the euphoria gave way to utter despair as the congress plunged to its second lowest parliament tally in 1989 defeated by a coalition of caste left and right wing parties now now the regional phenomenon simply mushroomed with the cruel monotony one congress citadel after another fell to all conquering regional parties uttar pradesh assam karnataka haryana gujarat bihar odisha west bengal delhi andhra pradesh telangana wherever you looked regional parties had usurped the congress's political space often often inflicting uh, the ultimate ignominy as the congress's uh, vote share fell to you know irretrievable single digits in quite a few states through this phase of uh, uncontrollable regionalization a peculiar peculiar reality became evident the spread of each regional party mysteriously mysteriously stopped at the border of the state in which the patriarch of the party was domiciled now i can cite example after example to prove this very curious uh, political theorem uh, for instance india's oldest regional party the badal family's um, shiromani akali dal now that held punjab's sikhs in thrall but mattered very little to the community in neighboring haryana or delhi lalu prasad yadav's uh, rashtriya janata dal dominated bihar but once jharkhand was hived out it got confined to the shrunken state it uh, disappeared from jharkhand likewise for uh, mulayam singh yadav's uh, samajwadi party and mayawati's uh, bahujan samaj party which were which were left with no footprint in uttarakhand once the hill state was carved out of uttar pradesh similarly for uh, chandra babu naidu's telugu desam whose earlier dominance earlier dominance sustained in the ramp andhra pradesh the ramp andhra pradesh but it rapidly evaporated in telangana once uh, the state was divided why does this happen why does the dominance of a regional party get very rudely very very uh, uh, con- decisively curtailed at the border of the state in which its patriarch is domiciled now reams of uh, political analysis uh, uh, have and can be written here but that's not our our quest for the moment instead we are trying to figure out if mamta banerji and arvind kejriwal who are trying to break this uh, voodoo will they succeed both are using highly dissimilar political strategies to achieve an identical objective they want to usurp as much of the congress's national political space as possible to become the primary challenger to prime minister modi in 2024 can either break through whose differentiated tactics are better now watch watch this space for the answers <laughs>